giving the back here a quick bath. Nice hot soapy water. We have lots of clean dry rags on standby. We're gonna dry this off quickly once we're done here. This is making it much cleaner. It was very filthy. You can see all the dirt running out. It should look a lot better after this. Yes, and a lot cleaner to work with. There we go. Look at that crud. Crud, crud everywhere. Might as well get the glue off here while we're at it. Anyways, thought we'd take a crown measurement of this. And it's, uh, it's very dry. It's very cold outside. It's very dry in here. And to our surprise, we have a pretty good crown. Amazing. A curvature in there. slight but it's fairly uniform and we heated this up for about 24 hours warmer than it should be so it's dry as a bone and that's a good sign we're going to uh, do some repairs and it'll be solid again this uh up right here we're uh making sure the soundboard has no loose areas. We've heated this up overnight, hot, and uh, it shrunk a little bit, so this opened up a little bit. And what we're gonna do now is secure all the loose areas. There's a loose spot here. We can get this under here. Anyways, we have to carefully check all these places and make sure there's nothing loose around the edge. And it's in good shape. Doesn't seem to be all any of that anywhere else is pretty tight. I think down the other end there's a little spot. But uh, the fact that it still has a crown to it, it's still round a little bit, under these conditions in this uh, dry environment we have here in, in, in January, we're going to uh, just make sure everything's tight. We're going to shim this crack and uh, when this gains a little moisture, it should even be a little bit tighter because it is dry as a bone right now. I think the only way you get drier is if you're with a wood stove in a house here in New England. Okay. This is what we mean by looseness around the edge. If we suspect that there is, we just simply probe it with these flat knives. Now what we're going to do is just open these up put a little wedge in there we're going to heat the piano up again so it's warm and then we're going to glue these down but we've got to go all the way around the rim like that uh, probably right here everywhere where there's a crack like that it's suspect to looseness so that's what we're doing because we don't want no buzzes or rattles after buzzes mainly Look at that, the ribs are loose too. A little cracking here and there. It's a good thing we check these places because it's hard to see these, especially when the panel's all together. It's impossible to get at. Um, so, if security is down, the whole thing was loose all the way. And that can cause some serious buzzing problems. Oh, very, very difficult to find. Anyways, we're going to glue that down good. These are whippings 
from an 1887 Steinway upright. And I've already removed the whip and heel felt. And right now I want to take off these back check felts. And this little setup is how I do it. The water's pretty hot. Scalding, I would think. It's not quite boiling. But it's giving off steam. And just position these so that the Felts themselves soak up water. There we go. And it's not too long before they'll start falling off. These felts show a bit of wear. I'll really take a look at them after they're cleaned up. But if I was going to reuse a felt, this is how I would go about removing it. And it's the biggest pair of tweezers in the world. Let's see if we can. Go. Go right there. There we go. And the belts come off, nice and clean. Very nice. And then yeah, throw another one over here. Keep the system rolling. pretty quick, eventually. I'll start putting them in over here, I think, just for convenience sake. Right, form. Got a wedge under there? Yeah. I do. Underneath the treble there? Here's the Yeah, right there. Got to wedge it up a little bit. Boy, the whole treble section is loose here, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Yep. It's important to check these places out. Especially if you got the plate out.
A lot of glue. Good and hot. Wood's hot. Make sure it's glued. Same glue that held it together for, well, its entire existence. It's all glue. Same stuff. Series of those all the way down there, and that should glue it good. Wiping the glue from that soundboard gluing that just happened. You can see the name here. These are pretty cool. People like looking at these. Maybe Graham. I'm not sure. I can't read it. There it is. Someone's signature from the piano factory. I'm going to wipe up all this glue that seeped through. Looks like it did a pretty good job. So I'm going to get that while it's fresh right now. And then we can move on to the next thing. There, this was open a little. This is the other side of the top. So I put some glue in there and clamped it like so. And that makes it up. Hard to hold that with one hand, but anyways, we did. And what we're doing is we're clamping a steel beam to the other side here. Fix these cracks. Amazingly enough, this soundboard still has some crown left to it, so we're going to uh, secure the loose areas. Here's one here. There aren't very many. Maybe three areas in the soundboard that need some, some gluing up. And we already glued up the rim down here. This was loose here, all the way across. And so was the bottom. So those areas are secured, and this is how we do it. We lift this. We have a steel beam here. The same beams we use to press the soundboards, and there we have it. We just clamp it across, and that helps hold it up. See, it's touching the floor. So what we're going to do is put some wedges in back here. See, the soundboard is lifted up here, right there, just from the other side. So we're going to wedge this between here and here, and this will give us a nice, even pressure to push that down with, and without damaging the board, there's no screws or anything. So here we go. Right there. Put glue in them joints. Wedge it up from this side, and then push it down from the other side. There we have it.
Okay, we just clamped up the ribs in back of this section here, same way we did that one, with those wedges there. This is all wedged up, drying now, looks good. And here we have, if you can see it, a signature. These are pretty cool. It's difficult to see. I think it goes like this. It's bad lighting. It's like A. I can't tell. Nice old fancy signature there if you can see it though. I think I showed this one too. You gotta get better lights in here. We're gonna wait for this to dry and then go after. Where is it? This crack tomorrow. These ribs are slightly loose and then I think that will be it we'll make sure make sure these buttons are on good sometimes they get loose yeah that one moves a little I heard it creak so we'll put some glue behind those tomorrow and we'll be looking pretty good what's this oh the aftermath of the gluing of these ribs here. As you can see the elaborate system we have back here to set up here. This is common. Put a brace across so we can butt right up against that rib back there. So when we press from the other side, nice and even pressure. Oh well anyways all the uh, I think all the loose spots are glued. One more. One more. This one here has been secured here, nice and tight, and one more in the middle here, which is not too severe. And this is a good time of year to do it, it's good and dry. Look at all these wedges and things that you do, oh well. Okay, this is the last one, this is how, uh, this is how we do it. We use a steel one here sometime because that thing bends too much, but we don't need too much uh, not pressure to secure these loose ribs this time. It's only three of them, and here we are. You can see the glue squishing out here. You got this one. Luckily, we were able to get at all these areas in the back of this piano, so it's much more difficult than some others. Anyways, uh, after this is done, we got some glue washing to do in here. We'll flip it on its face and get some uh, hot water in there and get all the excess glue that we splashed around. Okay, in the soundboard storage room here, picking out a nice long board. This looks perfect, actually. Nice long board to make our shims out of. 
to shim that upright soundboard. This looks like it wouldn't really be able to be used for anything else. It's got those bridge marks there, but those will go away in the shim. You won't see those. This is all antique soundboard wood salvaged from old pianos. Ooh, this one's got a name on it. What is that? A Krakauer, 1901. It's pretty old. Perfect. Perfect wood. It's very stable. So I'll bring this down, clean it up a little, make some shims out of it, and shim that soundboard.